Hello everyone, Hyper here. And in today's video, I want to cover a question that I've been getting a lot, which is what's happening with DK Covenants and specs. So I've been suggesting that people stay Necrolord. The DK Discord is suggesting for people to go Kyrian. Um, Sims are showing that Frost will be better. I'm saying that Unholy will be better. So I just kind of wanted to dispel and give you a little bit more information on what's happening, what my reasoning is. Or saying the things that I say. So first of all, let's start with the Covenant situation. Why is Kyrian all of a sudden uh, getting all this hype? Well, for Unholy specifically, it's very simple. Um, the third trait, or the third soulbind, uh, Mechanicos, has a trait called Brawn. Um, after you use 75 spells, you summon a Guardian that deals damage. So... Normally, Guardians like this only scale with versatility. They deal a default amount of damage, and then if you have more versatility, they will deal slightly more damage, depending on how much versatility you have. However, this one seems to scale with Unholy Mastery. So Unholy DK Mastery, of course, increases our pet's damage. And it's treating Brawn as a DK pet. So if you have 60% mastery, let's say, Brawn will deal 60% increased damage. This also means that it synergizes with Unholy Blight, as far as I know. Whenever you press Unholy Blight, your target will take more damage from your pets. This is why we pair Unholy Blight together um, with Dark Transformation, and if possible, with Apocalypse. So Unholy Blight is also increasing the amount of damage the target takes from Brawn. This Overall result is that Brawn is doing a ton of damage um, if you're playing on Holy versus anyone else that's playing Brawn as a Soulbind. Um, so as far as I know, this is a bug. Normally, pets like this do not interact with Masteries. If you think about it, um, Unholy DK Mastery also buffs our shadow damage. So if you have a trinket that does shadow damage and you press it on your target, it will not do more damage because you have more mastery. This is a change that Blizzard implemented um, either in BFA or this expansion. I believe it was BFA. Um, just to avoid you know, certain trinkets being really OP for certain classes that, whose mastery matches that trinket. Um, and this goes for like regular little guardians that you summon as well there are certain trinkets that you press and it summons a guardian to fight alongside you those typically don't get buffed by things like mastery so it's very weird to me that brawn would be getting buffed by mastery when other things like that aren't um so as far as i'm concerned it's a bug some people are saying this is the way it should work um but this is why unholy Single target is doing so much um, damage with the Brawn Soulbind trait. So this is a big reason why I'm suggesting that you don't go Kyrian just yet. Because there's a chance that they just hotfix this. And if they hotfix this, believe me, you do not want to be stuck playing Kyrian on Holy. I played it on Progression, or not on Progression, on Farm. Um, whenever I max renowned all of my Covenants and... Believe me, Unholy with Kyrian is not a good time. Um, so basically, hold off on swapping to Kyrian just yet. There is a chance that later on you will swap Kyrian anyway if you're going to switch over to Frost, but that's a whole other situation, and that is what I want to cover next. So, Unholy versus Frost. There is currently a pretty big divide on what people deem to be better. Um, early on, in my opinion, Unholy will be better. And there is a one simple reason behind it. It's the shards of domination. These are the domination sockets. You put the shards in it, um, and they will buff your damage quite a bit. So if you use, for example, one of the shards that whenever you attack a new target, it takes increased damage for like 20 seconds, that will not affect your pet's damage. So if you're playing Frost, of course, all of your damage comes from the player. Um, so that damage increase or damage amp will affect all of your abilities. However, if you're playing on Holy, all of your Army of the Dead, your you know little minions that you summon with Apocalypse, 
um, your main pet, your skulker, stuff like that does not get buffed by the shard. So you're stuck with getting a reduced amount of benefit from having the shard equipped. So this is why early on, Unholy is going to do better than Frost in my opinion, because you're not going to have five domination sockets. Um, but the later on you go in the tier, the more domination sockets you collect, the more Frost is going to start outscaling Unholy. So it's kind of up to you um, if you want to play Frost or Unholy. I'm just telling you what the reasoning behind why early on Unholy will do more and later on Frost will do more is. Um, and also within Frost, you can also look at, okay, do you play Obliteration or do you play Breath of Sindragosa? Currently, Obliteration is better single target um, slightly. Uh, Breath of Sindragosa, of course, much better if there's any type of cleave. Um, however, in Sanctum, there are quite a few bosses that are mostly single target. Um, but again, there are also quite a lot of bosses that have some sort of cleave involved. So for now, especially early on, I'm still leaning towards Unholy. And this is also where the Covenant choice will come into play. Technically, for Frost, pure single target, if you're playing Obliteration, yes, Kyrian is better. But if you look at it in a bigger perspective, how many single target bosses are there? Um, especially when you look at later on in the raid, that tends to decide what Covenant you play. For example, if Denatrius was a pure single target fight, maybe we would have seen some Kyrian DKs. Um, however, there's ads. Same with Sylvanas. There's ads on Sylvanas. Same with Kel'Thuzad. There's ads on Kel'Thuzad. So you can't really treat raid encounters as a pure single target scenario, uh, which is what sims do. So you kind of have to look at it from that perspective. And if you look at it through that lens, then Necrolord tends to make a lot more sense. Um, so... For me, I will be staying Necrolord, uh, especially now that they're introducing the hotfix that you can have a free swap throughout the tier. Um, I can swap to Kyrian if I want at some point for a certain boss if needed, but my go-to choice will be Necrolord early on. And this brings us to the last possibility, the last point that is or could happen, but maybe won't. Uh, quite possibly won't, is hotfixes. So if Blizzard is aware that Braun is scaling with Mastery and they hotfix it, um, then obviously it's not worth playing on Holy Kyrian. However, if Blizzard is not aware of this bug and it does not get hotfixed by Mythic Week, um, and also the shards of domination do get hotfixed because other classes are being affected by this as well. BM hunters, demo locks. Uh, like if you look at the demo lock sims, they sim lower than the other two specs by quite a lot just because the shards don't buff their pets. They don't buff their tyrant, their imps, anything. Um, and demo lock, as far as I know, is even more reliant on pet damage than unholy. So... If Blizzard implements a hotfix that, okay, now Shards of Domination will actually affect your pets as well, and they forget to hotfix Brawn, that like doubles down on Unholy being insane as Kyrian. Because if your Shards are buffing your pets and Brawn is scaling with our Mastery, that is going to make Brawn, Kyrian, Unholy absolutely insane on single target. But this is a situation where we kind of have to wait and see what happens, don't pull the trigger early on swapping to Kyrian just because you see a couple of sims or a couple of people being overhyped about it. Wait it out, see what happens. If they hotfix Brawn to no longer scale with Mastery, there's no point. Um, if, they hot fix, if they don't hotfix shards to affect our pets, then there's no point at all. Um, a, a couple of things need to line up for us to go Kyrian. And right now, as it stands not enough of those things are lined up so for me i will be staying as necrolord um and just kind of wait it out to see what happens let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this nonsense there's been every patch there's something crazy that happens uh, blizzard forgets to implement something something's bugged and this time it is affecting unholy in a pretty major way um i really hope that we get some feedback on this from the devs just to see kind of what happens with it because it would be nice to know what covenant um i will be playing on progression 
Again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.